Hello, my dear friends of the world, Paul the Trombone is here. And you know those confusing little articulation marks you see over on top of notes? These ones? Yeah, we're going to talk about that today on how to approach each one because I never saw anything that really explained it well enough. So don't go anywhere. Bam! So, what is articulation? Articulation is just simply how a particular note should be approached, how a particular note should be executed with your articulation, just like you're speaking. There's many ways of speaking articulations. There's many ways of playing music articulations, and they're notated different ways, and I know it can be confusing when you see those symbols. I know that it may be a challenge, so we're just going to talk about them, okay? The first one I want to talk about is the staccato. It's got the little dot on top of it. And staccato just means short and separated. Short and separated. And it sounds like this. I'll play one and then I'll play a consecutive session of a few in a row. So here is one staccato. This is how I would approach it. That's staccato. There's a bunch in a row so you can get the idea. Those are staccato notes. This next one, I rarely see it. I mean, I don't even think I've seen this one. Maybe a few times, but I think it's probably worth mentioning just in case you see it and you get really confused on it. And it's a staccatissimo. And it's even shorter than staccato. It would be like this if you saw it. I rarely see it. I would say people just use staccato. I wanted to throw it out there because it wasn't too long ago that I did see it and I was like, okay. And I, I even had to look it up. I was like, what is this thing? So I just wanted to let you know about that, okay? That's called staccatissimo. Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one I'm going to talk about is called marcato and it looks like this. A marcato just tells the musician it has a strong emphasis on the note. You put a little bit of power into it, put a little bit of emphasis on the note, okay? So this is marcato. A lot of people have a nickname for it called a cap. Some people will say, you got a cap on that note? And you'll be like, yeah, they, they mean marcato. So the marcato is like this and it's a cap, okay? It's a cap. Some people say carrots. So you got caps and carrots. They're just nicknames for this. This is marcato. And it means to have a strong emphasis on the note. So it's like this. I'm going to pretend that I'm playing a bunch of normal notes and the last one of the phrase is going to be a marcato so you can hear the difference, okay? Marcato. I, I did five marcados. <laughs> All right, cool. You guys are doing great. Isn't this fun? This is fun. Okay, next up. So this next one is just, it's simply called an accent called an accent unless you know of another name for it I think this is called an accent and it's just a greater symbol and it's a sideways V and it looks like this so this one has more held out longer the difference between this and a marcato is this is held out longer okay so like on the marcato you notice how I hit it and I kind of backed off on it now on the accent I'm just gonna hold out this note longer so let's hear one Let's hear a few in a row. I'll just do all different pitches too, just to kind of vary it up. So here's like a bunch of different accents in a row, like four in a row. That was a bunch of accents. If you saw that notated, that's how it would be approached, okay? And the next one is called tenuto. And it just means to hold that particular note out for its full value. A lot of the times, I think we see most of these on quarter notes, now that I'm thinking about it, you mostly just see these articulation markings on quarter notes. Hold out the note for its full, full value. I like to visualize, like when you have a bunch of tenudos in a row, I like to visualize like, you know, like a mimicking the sound of a string player going like this. Uh, like so, so you know how like a string player, like a cello player, and they play in quarter notes, that's how I like to visualize when I see the tenudos. So let's have like four tenudos in a row. Now 
Now, what's the difference between that and putting like a phrase mark over it or a slur mark over it? Yeah, there is a difference. If you have a bunch of tenudos in a row, say you got like four tenudos in a row, two, 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 there is a slight space in between each one. There's a slight space in between each one. Whereas if it was just a slur or if it was just a phrase mark over it, it's going to be all smooth and connected throughout the whole duration of the phrase. That's the difference. So those are the main articulation marks. There's other symbols too, but you know, you got the trill symbols and the, that turn symbols. That's all a discussion for another situation. But these are the main ones. These are the ones you see in probably 95, 98% of all music. And I get a lot of questions about it. Somebody asked me to make this video. So that's why I'm doing it because I'm like that. That's a great topic. That's something that needs to be talked about. I don't think I've ever seen it really explained before. Maybe, but I haven't seen it. That's it. If you're new here, I welcome you so much. Welcome here and we welcome you to be part of the notification family. People that are subscribed here, a lot of us are click the little bell and we get notified when these videos are uploaded. And those that have been returning, thanks so much. The patrons, bam. You're the greatest people in the history of the human civilization. So, who here plays trombone? I welcome all instruments here, I do. But who here plays trombone? We got any trombone players in the house? Cool. All right, so for those that are trombone players and are ready to take their trombone playing to the next level, I came out with the world's first digital trombone method book with clickable video links to help support the content called Trombone Exercises That Will Make You a Great Player. Now this book has already helped thousands of people, been getting messages all the time. And this book is what I implemented in my routine to help make me become a musician that has been able to support myself playing the trombone. And divided in the categories I think are the most important categories for being a trombone player. And I thank you all so incredibly much. You're the greatest people in the history of the human civilization, so don't you ever forget that, okay? And I'm sure a little, little comment or a little, little, little like on this because I do always appreciate hearing from you. It's time again, Mr. Banana. Whee! Get inside there. Sabanya <laughs> Teriam enjoy that <laughs> okay come on boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah. who's this guy come on little guy who are you who are you who are you who's this guy bam bam Bam! Who's this guy? I love this guy. This guy's cool. Who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Who are we? We are you, and I am here, and you are there. Yubby, 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 yubby.